I don't, 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 don't do horror games. I don't do them. I don't do horror games. So what are we here to do? Well, I hate leaving things unfinished, to be honest with you, so... We're back with fears to fathom. Episode 2. I, I think mentally... I think I've committed to finishing the series. I mean, there's only two episodes out, but you know, when the more come out, the more. Please just excuse me, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't even got out of do it yet! <laughs> anyway, firstly, how are you doing? Are you good? Are you bad? Somewhere in the middle? And then, yeah. Wherever you are, welcome back to the Broke Cat Mountain, baby! Respectfully. Hopefully, we can uplift it a little bit. Hopefully, watching me get scared to my absolute wits will make you feel better. You know what? I'll settle for that. You see the things I do for you. Anyway. I am scared. But, you know, we may as well just jump in. Uh, I'm told this one is... A little bit I can't even words I've been told that this one is more about you know you're now traveling and it's a weird experience traveling is a it's a trap you know you just never know what you're gonna get when you travel uh, that's dangerous times right there anyway June 16th that's that's the day for work yeah. this happened to me when I was 19 I'm a little over 21 now I remember this day very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. Speaking helps, respectfully. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes I meet my online friends. Hey. So my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. Yeah! Oh my goodness! Plane tickets are crazy expensive. Listen, none of you are seeing this before I go home, so I can say this. I've booked flights to go home, and it's just, it's ridiculous. Like, you have to choose. Either save some money, or have no money left after living expenses or savings. That's kind of my debacle. But anyway, plane tickets are expensive. Moral of the story. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over 12 hour drive. Man, that's a rough drive to one that is. Oh my gosh, I would not recommend. I drove 18 hours to get where I am now. Um, and we drove in like one go. Oh wait, I need to press forward to actually drive. Lol. Uh, so yeah, we drove right through the night. Um, actually, I guess in total. Ooh, uh, escape. Wait. Read the chat. And don't text and drive. Okay, message dad all the way up. You call? Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to that convention. Could I please get your car for like five days, please? With who? Hayden. That internet friend. He's a nice guy. No. You're not going over a 10 hour drive by yourself. Well, I've already made up my mind. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? Let's talk when I get home. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. Wow, that's great. Anyway, Discord, we got this, we got ticks, so I'll see if I can get the car, I'll let you know, finally going to take Milo on a walk, lol, A-L-L, -L, lol, I actually have no idea what that means, I feel like such a boomer, <laughs> okay, the plan is on, hell yes, wait, you're getting the car, yep, big girl, you sure Ash can't come? I'll get the skateboard too. Saw this really cool skateboard nearby. Sounds fun. Discord, where are you? Almost there. I don't see you. Peach shirt. Hey, they found each other. It was fun. Had a good time. Thanks for joining me. Smiley smiles. 
Anyway, you sure driving all the way back? I don't really have a choice now, do I? Could have left tomorrow morning. Okay, give me a call when you reach back to your cave. Okay, dad. Not sure if it'll be this lifetime though. What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic. That's us. It's not good either. I think people from the convention. Then I'm rerouting you. You gotta do what you gotta do. Right, fair enough. Anyway, let's uh, let's keep going. Whoop. Okay, and stay in the lane. And this kind of driving, driving like this is actually kind of hard. And maybe that's because all I'm doing is pressing the accelerator without considering braking. Rule number 82 of life. We don't stop. We don't stop. What if I hit the car? You know those chaotic thoughts you get when you're driving? Like, what if I just, yeah! Aha, uh -huh. fuel prices! Fuel prices have come back to bite me. Nearly halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Well, the fact that you made it six hours without stopping. Tell me what car this is because with the current fuel prices, I need this fuel economicness respectfully okay well let's just punch it uh told you to take that flight yes dad thank you dad you're always right but also now would you pay for the flight you know okay maybe late back ring. hope you're feeling all right well i'm in the wrong lane dad i'm sorry don't 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 look at the gps driving tracker oh 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 was there someone in the road there oh okay oh uh i guess i need to pull in um, I guess and I I can't park just like real life <laughs> okay well nothing wrong ever goes at a gas station and as you can tell I can't even English oh my gosh okay listen it's early days so nothing's gonna happen right that's how that's how it goes you, oh. how's your night going uh, yeah, he just looked at me. Fair enough. Can I get 10 on pump two? Yes, please. $10. That's going to make you the rest of the six, the, the six hour drive. You're heading to the bridge by yourself. Uh, the bridge, Krishma, the Northwood Valley Road. I mean, not a lot of people head down there this time of year. And why is that? Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now. Many people have been going missing down there. Well, that's reassuring to know. I love this. This is great. Fantastic. And people who went missing, who, who went looking for them, never returned. Well, that's extra great. Sounds like the perfect episode for a Scooby-Doo skit. Locals say the Northwood Valley monster has torn them up and hung them outside down the tree. Uh, cool. I guess. I feel like I should have maybe used the toilet because, you know, I have been driving for six hours. I don't even hold the pee for like two hours. Like, that's just... Yeah. Thanks, I guess. Okay. Uh, and one more thing. If you see a woman in white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Why? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say she seeks vengeance after sh she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstances, pick up that hitchhiker. Those people went out there on the road putting their thumbs out. They ain't what you think, ma'am. Okay? They just ain't. Fair enough. I mean, I, I, typically, I typically don't pick up hitchhikers in the first place, but still, good advice. Hello, sketchy van. Hello, I am dead. Hello. Holly, come on. I don't know if you find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get some for my, I'll pay you back. You heard about the Northwood Valley monster? Huh? You know anything? Big mistake. Uh, where are you headed? You just looked at me. Okay. Well, I'm dead. Is this dog food? No, they're apple chips for smoking. The 
good kind of smoking. Oh, pause. Uh, you dog food? Mm, no dog food. Dog food! No, that's oil. Dog food, 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 dog food. Boom, 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 boom. Is that dog food there? No, that's a basket. Why would you put the baskets here? Right by you. Please help me understand. Sorry, mom. No dog food. Just disappointment. I filled the tank and I was off on the road. Thank God. I panicked. This whole screen was like, oh, black. Darkness. Darkness. Since my mom asked, I had to buy something for Milo from the store. Wow. Well, I guess my only option is to ask you because I am a bad shopper guy. You got pumped to leave. Uh, thanks. Uh, is this dog food? Is this the one? Because I don't... I journey. I hope I'm not actually being... <sighs> right. Let's just, let's just punch it. We're just... We're cruising, man. Being on the road, you realize a thing. What do you realize? Monsters truly do exist. Okay. Well... And every single one of them looks just like you and me. Oh, that was dramatic F. Sorry, Mom. Busy driving and trying to read. Uh, it's not expired or anything, right? Got the dog food. Thanks, Mom. I love your vote of confidence in me. Picked up the dog food. That took me... Okay! 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 This is great. This is a great trip. This is a great, great trip. Oh, uh, nope. Time to go back. And, uh... Get a light bulb from them because you know this is not the way. Okay, and there's just a cart. You know, I when I'm on a long road, if there is an opportunity to overtake somebody, I I do take it. But something about this tells me, you know, it might not be the way. Lights. If you could also camera action and come back to life. That would be, that would be swell, because I'm, I'm driving a little bit blind, yeah? I mean, I see the dark shadows, uh, but this is not the one. I, I don't need to embrace the shadows. This is neither Kingdom Heart nor my hero. <laughs> Having so much control one feels weird from the first episode, just because I'm doing all this, but it, it also feels like I'm waiting for something to happen, you know? Anyway, what are you guys doing, you know? Because when you're on the road, you don't really have much to say or much to do, rather. You know, if you can if you can go long distance driving with somebody and you can sit in, like, amicable silence, you know. Uh, not, like, awkward, of course. But, like, you can just be comfortable in each other's silence. That's how you know you're in a good spot in a relationship. Those aren't my words of advice. That's advice I've been told by other people. So, you know. Take it with as much salt as you feel needed. Punch it, punch it, punch it, punch it. Oh my gosh, do you see the do you see the things in the field? Oh my gosh. I think they're just trees to be honest with you. Oh! I don't think it's anything. This is great. This is great. Rally crop. Oh gosh, what is all that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my gosh, my gosh. Rally cross! Hey yo. Call me Richard Burns, baby. You ever get the feeling you took a wrong turn? There's this weird thing about that night. Oh no. I saw two big logs that I almost hit. But those, they couldn't drive past and they wouldn't budge. I don't want to get out. I'm safe in here. It almost seems as if they've been deliberately put there by someone. Okay. Oh, I'm pulling them. I am strong. I'm a strong, independent woman. Hit me with the queen song. Don't stop me now. Hey, 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 hey. Log. Respectfully not. There we go. Okay. I can hear it moving back. But I'm just gonna go for it. Those logs had to be moved. I don't know if it's just a game-breaking mechanic. Or if... I'm just being dumb. 
think I'm being dumb. What do you mean? Here we go. What do you mean? What do you mean? Do I have to pull this literally all the other way? What do you mean? Song hat. This now has me sounding like flipping Justin Bieber. Oh! Don't lie, you can make this gap. I can make this gap. Does anyone else see those marks on there? Just, do you see those claw marks? Gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it. Gun it. Oh, you lying. The car wouldn't start back. Oh, you lie. You lie. I'm terrified right now. I don't wanna, I don't wanna lie to you guys. I mean, told my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. Um, fair enough. But at this moment, I had no choice. What do you mean? What do you mean? I was scared to think how long it would take for somebody to pass, okay? <laughs> I have turned into a hitchhiker. I saw a car nearing. I don't like this. I don't like this. Um, I'm dead, aren't I? Pure evil. I didn't end silence so we could leave another human being stranded like that. Oh, uh, easily. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, easily. I'm not saying it's the right thing to do. I'm just saying I understand how they could do it. Easily. Like, you just don't know who you're picking up, what the sitch is, you know. Next thing you know, their car ain't even broken. They just lie. This is honestly, to be honest with you, this is part of my worst fears ever. Getting properly stranded. <sighs> let's just do the, let's do the worst case. Let's get. Okay. Well, there's now a car. I'm walking to the car. I'm dead. You see those red lights? That's a sign that I'm dead. I'm dead. Dead, dead, dead. Dead as hell. In the death. Okay. You're the girl from the gas station. Um. Thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help, there's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading? To, to the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop it, uh. <laughs> Hurry up, just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, stranger. Uh, shift to run, shift to run. Run shift, shift sprint. What do I even need? To get out here. Leave the whole thing. Um. Uh. Only have two hands. Dog food is not needed. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what else I need to get. Um. I'm running. He. I can't ask him to now help me. Because now what if he stops his car. And then we both in the troubles. You know what I mean? Um. Can I get another bag? Nope. Oh, okay. I really don't need to take all my lifelong belongings with me. I'm not gonna lie, that's not a that's not a necessity. You know what I mean? Do I really need do I need all the stuff? Like, do I actually need this dog food? That's honestly the thing I keep debating with myself. Does the dog need to eat at all? Ah! You know what I'm saying? Can you leave my stuff here? Yes, you could. You very much could. You very much could. I definitely would have. That's like a fire escape situation. You know what they say? Value your own life first. That's basically it. I'm done. Finally. Now hop in. Be quick. Okay. Um, thank you, sir. Thank you. Please don't kill me. I feel bad about leaving the dog food now. I'm not gonna lie. But it is what it is. You know, I can get dog food anytime. So, you won't tell me who you are, where you're going to. Uh, I live really close from you. Is that so? In that case, I wouldn't imagine you asking those questions at the gas station. Ah, oh, you found me out. It's okay. I wouldn't trust me either. Jason. That's his name. My name's Jason. Uh, I'm Holly. It's good to, it's good to exchange names. You know, um, I personally would have used a fake name, but that's just because I'm paranoid. You're really lucky you had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? Uh, it's an old car. I don't, I don't want to say I know what it is. It's probably the battery, but the battery shouldn't just re randomly die. That's it. I think so. 
you know, especially if the car was running for six hours, the battery would have been charged, you know. That's kind of how it works. Don't ask me, I'm not a mechanic. I only have, you know, car in my surname. <laughs> so, what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Oh, wait! Uh... Uh, uh, he's funny. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Um, LMB? LeBow. LeBow. LeBow? LeBow. Oh. So is it true? What? The monster? Let's see. Let's see. I've never seen that monster for myself, but there are, there are some things, and I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them, and the log moving back and forth was another. Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this, you don't bother them, and you don't bother, oh, I, I couldn't read for a second, you don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Fair enough. Actually, that's good advice. You know, he said to be watch out for a lady in blue. And you're looking kind of feminine now, good sir. Respectfully. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Yeah, fair enough. I can, I can respect that. And this is the part where you say, it's okay and you don't worry about it. You know? Uh... I feel like I'm still gonna die though. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Right, I'm dead, aren't I? Kumbawa. That's not what that means. I'm just panicking. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Oh, man. Y'all need a room to shuck up for the night? Uh, how much is it for a room? $40 for single. Wow. I paid $5 for dog food that I don't even have anymore. And $10 for a full tank of gas. And now you're charging me 40 rand to sleep. Okay. Pay cash only. <laughs> That's extra creepy. If people don't accept card, it's a little bit sus. Room number nine, right over there. Uh, okay, talk about the car. Ninety dollar. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Are you Tommy? Also, how much money do I have? Like, good. I'll tell Tommy no. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to you. Fair enough. Um, you know, the thing is, the thing that I'm kind of thinking about, how much money does this kid actually have? Because, wow. Oh, hello, I'll see. But anyway, like, think about it. They went to a convention where they paid fuel. Wait, I don't know why I'm walking without bags. Where they paid for the fuel there and the fuel back. And then, still have plus minus two hundred dollars or so, lying around. Bowlers, room number nine. It was nice and warm inside, and that is the creepiest day ever. Oh my gosh! I think it was a small type of musky smell you get in an old house. I just left my everything. Um, Okay, there's nothing in there. Which I guess, to be honest, is. Whoa! <sighs> I should be asking you! I'm Tommy, room service, here at the Roadway Inn, the finest stopover in Northwood. What are you doing there? You know, cleaning stuff. Got the front desk, gave me this room. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I'm just gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. Please, Waya. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, Tommy. Okay. Do I uh, put my stuff in here? That's not creepy at all, sir. I'm just put it down there. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> but you have a good night. Understandable. I mean, I do need the rest of my stuff, so... If you'll excuse me. And if you could not kill me, that'd be great. I mean, I'm a simple woman. Independent, strong, yes. But simple. And would like to not die. Oh, I have the dog food in the end. That's great. Whoa! That's... But I almost killed me. It would have let Milo go hungry. Because I was delivering the dog food then. I barely brought it myself. The guards brought it for me. He really just said, broom broom. I go here. I'm upset. <sighs> my heart is still just... <laughs> so dumb. My heart is still hurts. <laughs> oh man, I'm upset. I am upset. I, I thought I was dead, to be honest with you. I uh, I generally thought I should shower. Y'all need to close your eyes. Don't get any funny ideas. I'm just making sure nobody was in there because I didn't expect anyone to be in there. And then BAM! There was someone in there. Oh! Call it for sight, but there was something very off about the place. Yeah. You think? A hot cup of coffee could help, I thought to myself. You better make it in this room. You better make it in the... Didn't want it. Coffee. Only coffee could help me stay up. Well, you know what? In one hand, fair enough. Because after that, whatever that was. That was... That was... Just making sure. Whatever that was, it was not the one. How are people looking into your window like, hello? I've gone into this habit of when I go to like, pass windows. I don't, I try not to look in them. Um, but at the same time, I'm not good at that. So I'd still, I quite, I look into them. Cola, 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 Helps you stay away, uh. Whew. I am tired. Consume. Oh, there's marshmallows on it. Well, they were at least. I've devoured them now. Oh, the game is supposed to do this. Oh my gosh, I'm... I am hallucinating! Okay, there's number four. Oh man, I'm drugged. I'm drugged. I'm actually drugged. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm actually drugged. Okay. Just slow and steady. The controls are inversed. This is super trippy and I lost myself accidentally. Wait, nope. Here's the car. Dad, text message. Dad, can I even... Nope. Okay. I was hoping for too much. 
Hoping for too much. Hoping for too much. I am tripping. I couldn't go just into any room. Oh, wrong way. Fair enough. Fair enough. Sorry, neighbors. Everything is very inverted. Number nine was not that way. Okay. And in my drunk state. And in my drunk state. Okay. Feel like putting my head on the pillow now is the worst thing I can do. Because I might actually... You know what I mean? Like... Or will the coffee balance it off? I don't know. To be honest with you. I just know I, I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't. I don't like it. Oh, 3.18 a.m. Oh, man. I was sedated. Yeah. Good observation. Good observation. You were... Tr now, I thought the phone didn't work. Can I read my own? Nope. Still can't read my own text messages. And the bags moved on their own. Just making sure if the phone works but doesn't work. It's a one-way phone. It's very much a don't call us, we'll call you kind of phone. Uh, who is knocking at this time of the night? Uh, hello? Hello? I'm scared to open the door. Or like, even just go to the door. Because I don't, I don't want to die. And there's no save points. And I want to do all this again. Okay, fine. Oh. Who is it? Joe from front desk. Open the door. Uh, no thanks. Who is it? Joe from front desk. Open the door. Do nothing. Why are you knocking on my door at 3.18 in the morning? Even if your guy has brought the car back. I'm not opening the door. Let me sleep. Do nothing. I can crouch. I mean, it didn't work well for me in the last game. Hello, mother... Oh! But... It's not Joe from the front. It's Creep from the east. Wait, is that Joe from the front? Okay, open the door. <sighs> Do now sit there to not wake anyone up? I didn't. I have complaints. What are you making all this goofy noises for? Oh, wait, I'm high. Of course. <laughs> Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Uh, is that... Why are your eyes all red? It's a coffee machine, man. Your thing is drugged. Are you messing with me, ma'am? We don't have no co... <laughs> it's right over there. Okay. Here. I've had enough of your crazy... Go no. For once, I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. I hate my job. Uh, need job. Yeah, I'll lead you to it. Close the door, of course. Come with me, and if you kill me, I'll be very upset with you. Oh, uh, wow. Guess what? There's no coffee machine. This is great. What happened? Show me your coffee machine now. I said go back now. Fair enough. Wait, what? Did you not hear me? I said go back to the room and don't get up. Check the table by the TV. Fair enough. I'm sorry, Joe. Sorry, I'm just a disappointment. I disappointed you, parents, everyone else. This is honestly the worst feeling. When you are unintentionally intoxicated. Um, or out of your mind. It's just... You feel so wrong. You know? Like, if you do it of your own choice, you know, like, fair enough, in one sense. You know, you sign up for it. But when it's not of your choice, man. Gross. Oh, wait. Uh, requires water. Well, luckily. I have a bath. Oh, wait. The sink is here. For some weird reason. 
Oh, man. And sobering up is also a tough thing, you know. Um, I'm kind of impressed that these guys have tablets for sobering up people. I wonder what it would even be. Chemists, what would, what would sober you up? Because my thing is just eggs, to be honest with you. Eggs, toast, bacon, wow. Actually, now I'm paranoid. One, because I remember seeing the guy do that thing once. Okay. Now I look like a proper weirdo standing out here. But fair enough. Hello? There's a whisper noise. I don't like whisper noise. Oh. Oh. This is so ominous. I don't like it. Hello? Who is it? Please don't know. I need your help. Uh, what do you want? I need your help. Please, please open the door. That is a trap. Uh, please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Um, I swear you're doing. I swear I'm not a cop. Uh. -oh! Pretty please, lady. Right? That's my cue. That's my cue. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh wait, I think he, I think he's a good guy. Hey, Joe, you're actually a good guy. Sorry about that. Sorry, I, <laughs> to this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get the police involved and it would affect the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take planes. Fair enough. What the hell? Whew! Very, very nerve wracking. I'm not gonna lie. I think honestly one of my biggest fears about going on like trips one is breaking down in the middle of nowhere and two you know people actually breaking into my room um i remember a couple years ago a shout out rail they actually broke into our house and it was kind of weird you you left with like almost a bit of an unsettled feeling because uh, you can't do anything you know 
and it's weird knowing that somebody else was in your space and so knowing now oh title screen and so now knowing that you know now you are here unable to do anything and now somebody breaks into your place while you're sleeping crazy i think it, it speaks quite a lot to i think the fears people have and you know especially women um because this is a terrible world we live in but you didn't need me to tell you that anyway uh good game but long um I kind of wonder if all the parts were needed. I guess it was, because it's like the guy at the gas station, and then the logs in the road, but unsettling. I think the driving could have been a bit shorter, but that's just me. Um, I think, look, this is probably what they're going to do with all of them, so I, I hope I don't end up saying the same thing after every episode, but they definitely do this, this thing really well of leaving you helpless, you know. Because um, it's very much, you know, you open the door, nothing you can do, you die. <laughs> Louis, that's actually it. That's the motif. You open the door, you die. <laughs> so, yeah, good game. Um, play it for yourself. Uh, I think I'll leave a link for it in the description. Um, and like I said, when the other episodes come out, whenever that is, I commit to playing them. Even though I don't like horror games, so if you want to see me do that and suffer, suffer, suffer through that, then hit the sub button, leave a like on this video if you left you a little scared, or if you just enjoyed me sitting in absolute fear, staring at the screen like a fool, <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Remember, there's only one of you in this world, and this world needs you, so look after yourself until we meet again, and I will see you in the next one. Adios. Ciao.